Hey there, welcome to the Total Bitcoin podcast show. My name is Kevan Devani, the Total Connector, and today I want to talk about uh, Cobo Vault um, and uh, setting up a Bitcoin only firmware, uh, updating, upgrading the Bitcoin only firmware on your Cobo Vault uh, hardware device, hardware wallet. And in order, you know, so that you don't repeat uh, accidentally uh, stupid mistakes that I've done. Um, so I already had the Bitcoin only firmware on it. I had it, I had it already installed and, uh, but there were some, you know, uh, improvements done in the meantime, some things added, uh, functionalities, features, uh, some, some, maybe even some bugs fixed. So to make things short, um, what is important, first of all, is that your Cobo Vault hard wallet uh, Cobo Vault device uh, is fully charged, minimum, a minimum of 70%. You need at least 70% charge, especially when you're updating, upgrading any kind, uh, actually for any kind of transaction or operation you want to do, make sure you're fully uh, charged. It comes, of course, uh, with the, uh, uh, with another cover, which you can insert, uh, you know, normal, uh, uh, ordinary triple a batteries but this one you just you know you just un uh, you just take it off right and um, you just charge it uh, via USB and if you look inside here there is a slot for the uh, for the micro SD card which needs to be uh, at least uh, which need to be maximum 16 or a maximum uh, 32 gigabyte um, whatever that means, um, um, FAT compatible or um, FAT, I'm not sure what, what that stands for, but you know, uh, just take a really good uh, brand such as SanDisk, I think I have, a, yeah, Sa I'm sorry, SanDisk uh, micro SD usually comes with this kind of adapter or if, if, if it, or if that thing, that plastic thing, which you can, you know, just pull it out that micro SD card, right? So if that doesn't come with it, then you can order yourself uh, one of these, you know, from different sizes of micro SD cards adapter. Okay. So that's about it uh, for uh, the raw technicalities. Um, now, what I, what the mistake I did when trying to update or upgrade to the latest Bitcoin only firmware because I already had it on my 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 uh, 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 Vault, uh device is I downloaded it from you know the latest version Bitcoin only firmware from their official you know site and uh, I downloaded it and transferred it immediately the whole raw zipped file into the into my micro SD card now um, after several attempts and chit and chat with their support team uh, and thanks to their patience and thanks to their uh, you know fast support and feedback I've uh, finally figured it out I should have just uh, taken the zipped file it's still zipped it's a zipped file within that raw zip file you just open up that that uh, zip file which you you know you just download but you have to take that unzipped file and that unzipped file you transfer to your micro SD card. Okay, once you have that unzip, dot, uh, unzip file on your micro SD card, you just uh, take it again, you take it out of your computer, your laptop, put it back into the um, into the back of this, into this slot, right? And, um, and then it should do the job pretty much automatically without you know yeah without any complications you just you just open it up you you activate it and then it asks you update or upgrade you confirm and and then it's, it takes a while be patient so it's going to take at least a few minutes maybe even a little bit longer uh depending whatever on whatever it depends uh but then it installs and um everything to, to the latest firmware and then you can actually see the changes once you activate it uh, sometimes it takes a few seconds till it activates, but just press it hard uh, or just you know stay on that button right here. So it's activating, it's opening up, 
and then I have you know the fingerprint uh, thing so I op uh, on the back side of it right so I just put my finger on it and it says security verification progress and then right here see verify fingerprint so I put my finger and there, it, there you go and then you see the, the first thing you see of course I because I already said it like that uh, in order to demonstrate that for you so what what you can do is um, um, yeah uh, it's set on on blue wallet with a receiving address so what you can do you can go to settings on the left bottom uh, on the left top it says settings and then you can see right here the selection you go right on the top to watch only wallet and there you can this is the latest version of the Bitcoin only firmware so you just go on that uh, on that button and it says select a watch only wallet there you can choose between Cobo Vault app, Electrum, Wasabi wallet, Blue wallet, BTCP server or a generic wallet. Then you just uh, in this case I'm just gonna let's say uh, select Electrum and then you go next and then it says here the instructions again how to create a watch only wallet with Electrum, open the Electrum, create a new wallet right choose standard wallet choose use a master key then touch the display master public key qr code right here at the bottom right uh, below then click the camera icon in electrum this is the problem i had i've had i'm, I'm, I'm hoping that you're not going to have the same issue with electrum because it's not it's not a uh, cobo vault's issue or fault but it's actually something maybe a bug or some kind of of, of problem uh, i'm not sure i've reported to them but i don't think it it I even unplugged my webcam um anyway step by step uh, uh let's go step by step and then click the camera icon in electron to scan the qr code that is placed on cobo vault set a password and then enter the watch only wallet okay this, so this is what i eventually did now let me show that to you hope i can you can see that small window i uh, that I want to screen share with you. So this is the Electrum wallet uh, display of the software. Now it's to say I type in whatever uh, Kobo Vault Kobo Kobo Vault watch only, right? All right. Then I go next, and then it says your standard wallet. Yes. And then we want to use a master key, right? So I go master key, I go next. Now this is the problem I've had multiple times after multiple tr attempts, it never worked. As soon as I hit that read QR code, that camera button, just, just this button, all right, just watch it. I go on that camera button, see? It just, it just vanishes. So uh, in, the, in this case, uh, even my, my screen sharing stopped because because the, the system just broke down. It just crashes. It just disappeared. It's not that it uh, I can't work with it at all. It's just that as soon as I want to like uh, like read a QR code, or open up that that QR code by by uh, selecting the, the the camera button, it just vanishes, disappears. So I reported that on GitHub to to whatever to the team members or to to, to their community. But I haven't really got a concrete answer what the problem is. Um, I, I even tried it with the webcam on, plugged in my Logitech, or uh, unplugged with the internal cam because I thought, you know, usually I have had had those issues sometimes where only the internal camera activates itself and not my webcam. Even though my webcam is actually should be by default the camera that scans. But it, you know, doesn't matter. So I tried everything. I restarted it. I, I, I uh, you know, I even <laughs> deinstalled it and reinstalled it. So I hope you're not going to have the same issues and problems and headaches that I've had. All right. So what I did, uh, fortunately enough, there is the second uh, possibility, second uh, 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 procedure you can take, and that is with the uh, with the uh, micro SD card. So what I did is I. Um, Again, oh yeah, there it is. I didn't put it into my back into my Cobo Vault. So this is my um, my uh, micro SD card, right? So I put that with the adapter inside my uh, inside my uh, laptop or or computer, and 
and then uh, I go to Electrum. Uh, let me show that again to you. Uh, so you can just follow me step by step. I'm not going to go through all the procedures now because for OPSEC reasons uh, and you know, um, but I'm sure you can, uh, there's this page on support.cobo.com. The only thing it's uh, sort of, it's, got, it's a little bit um, uh, not up, not updated is wrong is the wrong term, but because it's already you already have the selection poss the possibility for selecting which kind of watch only wallet you have, uh, so maybe it, um, it might look the the different images for uh, for the sake of demonstration uh, might be actually much easier. So you you you, you just you know, you, you don't have to, you know, export wallet because before that you even select a wallet. So in this, in this case, you select Electrum or Blue Wallet or whatever kind of generic wallet, what have you. All right. But in essence, the principle works like this. You put the SD card inside your computer. You, uh, uh, you open up your Electrum and you type in, you know, the wallet name. Uh, let me show this to you. Uh, right so you you open up this is how it looks like right so you open up your electron software you you uh, give it a some some kind of name Cobo Vault test or whatever or watch only or what, what have you depending what you want standard wallet and then use a master key and since my QR code didn't work I had to go the other route and do it with the uh, micro SD card by transferring the text file which I'm going to show you in a in a seconds, um, uh, this is all with QR code, and this is what it looks like, right? And um, and yeah, um, it um, so once you um, sorry if I'm jumping back and forth, but once you had your micro C card inside your uh, your Cobo Vault. You go on that specific wallet, watch only wallet that you want to select. In this case, it's uh, Electrum. In other cases, it would be Blue Wallet, what have you. And then you see here the master public key with the QR code. And it says even here, touch here to export the file with microSD. And this is where you, if the QR code in your case shouldn't work either, then you can just uh, uh, touch here to export the file with microSD card. And then um, it says here export you say yes or you confirm export export successfully on the micro SD card so you take the micro SD card out of the out of the Cobo vault right and put it back into your personal computer or smartphone if you're working with a smartphone and um, and in Electrum on the create key store from master key page again the same procedure that I had shown you uh, select the folder icon this the folder not in this case the folder icon and find a master public key dot text file on your micro ST you select that you open it up and then it's pretty much you know everything self-explanatory you open it up and uh, uh, and then your master public key has actually been successfully imported select next and there you go the only thing you need to do finally is set up wallet password uh, a wallet password a secure one a strong one and then voila you got your watch only wallet with electrum in this case uh, um, uh, make sure you're always connected if you're connected to your let's say full node IP address local IP address it should uh, uh, be green in the bottom right hand corner in my case it's blue because it's connected via my Tor onion address because it was much easier because I couldn't handle I could figure out how to I, I, I tried everything but it didn't just it just didn't connect via my local IP address Maybe if I play around eventually it, it might work all right um, so this is there was Electrum and now let's go to uh, sending receiving Bitcoin with Blue Wallet now this you can do the same thing uh, create um, in this case I already done that uh, you open up your Cobo Vault you activate the Cobo Vault 
and then you go on the left top part of your Cobo Vault, you know, where uh, there's a symbol and you just uh, select that, go on settings. Uh, sometimes it takes a while till my uh, Cobo Vault activates uh, for, it takes a few seconds or so sometimes longer, but you know, it's a pretty cool thing. Uh, it's air gapped and this is what you want. You don't want any kind of connection. Um, this is, I guess, why uh, the cold card by Conkite is so much praised and and uh, you know and worshipped because it is uh, truly air gapped. There's no connection whatsoever through whatever uh, cable or you know with the internet or Bluetooth or what have you. Um, so I open it up with my. All right. Um, okay, password unlock. I don't know why it's asking me for my password unlock, but I'm just gonna type it in. So I unlock, all right. And there you see uh, the main page. It says you're already receiving address, whatever. So you go on that three lines, you go on settings, you go on watch only wallet. In this case, you go on blue wallet, then you go on next, right? Uh, and then it gives you again, instructions how to create a watch only wallet, blue wallet, open blue wallet and add a new wallet. It says, choose import wallet, touch display QR code right here on this page. On the, on the bottom, there's this button below then touch scan or import file in blue wallet to scan the QR code that displays on your Kobo vault, right? So for, you know, obstacle reasons, I can't go any further. So you display it and this is what, how you do it, right? And this is how essentially it looks like that. Yeah. So you display the addresses on blue wallet, you go to corresponding wallet, touch receive to display the receiving address. Um, uh, and then using Blue Wallet to send Bitcoin, open the Blue Wallet app on your smartphone, find a wallet that has been paired with Cobo Vault, touch send to enter the sending interface. Uh, make sure you configure the receiving address, the amount, the transaction fees, and and optionally, I guess, it notes if you want to put some notes in it. So you remember what, for what reason or purpose you're doing this. Touch next to display the unsigned transaction information, and then touch the animated QR code to switch to displaying a dynamic QR code. And yeah, and this is how you use a Cobo Vault hardware wallet to sign transactions. You touch a scanning icon on the blue wallet interface on Cobo Vault and use the hardware wallet device camera to scan the QR code displayed by blue wallet. And then you touch sign and input your device password to obtain the signed transaction information awaiting broadcast. And using bl blue wallet to broadcast transaction, touch scan sign transaction. See over here, scan sign transaction. Use your smartphone camera to scan the QR code displayed on Cobo Vault to transmit the sign transaction data. Once you have entered the broadcasting interface on blue wallet, touch send now to broadcast the transaction. So I guess all these procedures, the steps that you have to uh, follow. It's really self-explanatory. You can just read it for yourself on support.cobo.com. You can search it either on the left side where there's the content, you know, all the content listed, or you just type in the search words, keywords that you're looking for. Would it be updating, upgrading, sending, receiving, Electron, Blue Wallet, what have you. And then it, uh, it pretty much uh, shows you, uh, you know, where to find it and the page, the specific page that you want to. Uh, all right. Important again, the micro SD card should be FAT32 format compatible with capacity not exceeding 32 gigabyte. Make sure your Cobo Vault, if you're doing update and upgrade any kind of transaction procedures, make sure it's either fully charged or at least 70%. All right. That's what I was told by the support team of Cobo. They're really nice and friendly and really forthcoming in their uh, customer service and their support service. And yeah, and if you can't do it with by you know by uh, confirming or signing with uh, or you know linking it up with QR code, you still have the possibility. It's just, I would say because I'm not a security expert, I would say it's the same 
security measure or uh, the same security paranoia. If you uh, um, you you just using you know you're not linking it in any shape or form with your with your cable uh, to the internet or what have you. It all works you know by just uh, taking out the uh, the micro SD card out of your uh, Cobo Vault once you have your text file in that. Um, or vice versa, if you want to, you know, work with Electrum, and then you, you know, you, uh, 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 whatever that is, whatever you're doing, um, so you uh, can just, uh, you know, uh, switch back and forth with the micro SD card by transferring the text file onto your Cobo Vault or back uh, to Electrum if you want to, you know, sign a transaction or what have you. Okay. Uh, yeah, I hope this wasn't a little bit too much uh, all at once, but I just wanted to show you also what kind of uh, common mistakes, flaws, problems, maybe even bugs could arise. For example, again, if the QR code doesn't work, make sure uh, your micro SD card has, this, has, the, has the correct format, uh, capacity is not exceeting 32 gigabytes, it's for FAT32 compatible format, um, make sure it's fully charged, um, and yeah, and read. Uh, there's a bunch of other really beautiful. Uh, I'm sure uh, uh, people like Keep It Simple Bitcoin uh, will do more videos with uh, eventually even with other uh, hardware wallets. In this case, he did. He's done a great job with Electrum. Check check out his really his Keep It Simple Bitcoin.com is his website. Keep It Simple Bitcoin.com slash videos there you can see the instructional videos really step by step it's really idiot proof so any really normal average person out there whatever age i would say or you know uh, the average user out there could just follow and implement and and you know succeed in whatever that is you know would it be watch only wallet or uh, bitcoin hard wallet with electrum or watch only wallet or uh, whatever you have you know you, uh, uh, standard Bitcoin wallet so really it does a great job there's a bunch of other people Bitcoin Q&A uh, Ben of BTC sessions uh, Ministry of Nodes and a bunch of other people so yeah so really Lixin Leo the creator of um, of the Cobo Vault air gapped um, to, to emphasize that it's an air gapped hard wallet the only thing, since I'm not a really uh, tech, uh, techie, I'm not sure which part of it. There's, there's obviously there's been some discussion which part of it is like most of it is open sourced, all right? Because and they're really you know they're really beautiful in their cooperation and communication with the community. They want to build it up, be open, transparent. So there's some some part of the security element or whatever that is. I'm not sure what which kind which part it is. Is, uh, is still not open source or closed source because maybe they have, I don't know, non-disclosure agreement written or anything. But of course, the ideal version would be, the ideal situation would be if everything uh, were uh, to be open sourced. All right, um, this is just, you know, um, I'm not probably gonna not use all those wallets I have, but this is really for educational purposes in order to serve, uh, you know, you guys, you noobs, users, listeners, viewers, uh, my followers, uh, with some really uh, high quality content and uh, give you really inside tips or trial and error experiences, my, uh, my testimonial, my reviews, my experiences, and hope you appreciate that. And thank you so much for listening, for your support. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Telegram. Please make sure you subscribe on my YouTube channel or on my uh, podcast uh, platforms uh, from which from where it is distributed that is anchor.fm slash Davani, where it is distributed to the most prominent podcast platforms leaving me a positive review a like a retweet a share whatever that is with all the prominent guests I've had on my show so um, really uh, thankful for you know for all my guests uh, taking their time, sharing their knowledge, expertise, their knowledge, their, their wisdom. All right, that's about it. Thank you so much again. And if you have any questions, feel, feel free to get back to me. Write me an email to hello at the totalconnector.com or my DM is open on uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, Telegram, and 
uh, even by phone. All right. Thank you so much again, and I'll see you soon. Have a great day.